Hi, I'm Alan. Hope you all are fine. Today's video is brought to you by Fan, who gave me a long comment, which I will read and then analyze. Hi, I recently discovered your videos after doing a YouTube search for marriage is not worth it. I instantly became a lifetime fan. When I found your video called my journey into MGTOW while watching that video, I kept thinking to myself, is this guy talking about my life? I'm a 29 year old guy in his final year of medical school. I had confidence issues in the first two years of medical school. It was likely due to my constant struggling. Jane moved in with me. Her rent had run out and she said she'd pay me half of the rent and split it. Blinded by love, I agreed. My third year of medical school was as tough as the TV shows would have you believe. 12 to 15 hour days at the hospital, six to seven days a week. Jane didn't do housework, so I had to clean the house, from cleaning the floors to washing the dishes. Jane became sluggish and had erratic employment and hours, but she paid the rent on time. She ended up getting animals she couldn't afford and expecting me to care for and pay for them. When her problems became especially tough, she would cut herself on her thighs. She refused to see a psychotherapist or psychiatrist about her problem. She would go to a psychiatrist to get her adrenal and Xanax filled. She would always get a higher dose of Adderall than she needed so she could sell the remaining pills. I discovered that she had an opiate problem, which turned into a heroin problem. The rent money stopped coming in, so I asked her to move out. We fought and made up until she had enough money to pay her late rent. Through all of this, she refused to seek help for her addiction problems. A few months ago, she had enough of her science major. Her study habits were insufficient, and she had failed freshman chemistry four times despite being a super senior. I tried to help her study when I could and told her that chemistry isn't like other classes where you can study the night before and get an A. But she never listened. Our last significant disagreement followed a discussion about our future. I told her I wouldn't marry her because she wasn't emotionally stable. I think I would have had a more mild response had I called her on her obese cow-like behavior. She's not fat, but you know what I mean. The relationship ended a few weeks ago when I asked her to pay the rent or leave. I had to take time off from my clinical duties to deal with her departure. But it was worth the scolding from my attending physician when I returned. When I explained my situation to him, in a one-on-one -on -one meeting, he said he understood and would not report me to the School of Medicine for missing my duties. Men working full-time yet are nevertheless chastised for not doing enough cooking, cleaning and housework. When women tell men to man up, they are essentially projecting their issues onto the psyche of a man. They secretly want to tell themselves to woman up, but it's easier to project their problems onto males. Instead, this is just whack. Don't feel bad about leaving Jane. My advice women like her need to hit rock bottom before they realize how terrible they are, because she's probably a narcissist. She needs to end up on welfare or homeless living on the street before she smartens up, according to my friend the psychotherapist. When people with narcissistic personality problems fail, they have no one else to blame themselves, and they start to look inwards and see the mistakes they've made. People say that women don't end up on the street because society won't let them hit rock bottom. I say let both men and women hit rock bottom. Another interesting idea would be to imagine if people could only live off the income that they made. No inheritance or mooching off of others. Can you imagine how many homeless women there would be on the streets? Jane wrecked her life so you could feel sorry for her and rescue her like Captain Save, who you were supposed to be her doctor in a white lab coat and I bet she couldn't imagine you kicking her to the curb the way you did. Many women who think they have a man in their emotional clutches don't see it when he leaves them. They think their manipulation talents are so good. That's it for today. Thanks for listening to me. I'll see you in the next video.